Hi, it's Cammy. Charlie talks football. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Charlie Talks Football. We're here for Newcastle versus Everton. After that, fantastic comeback against West Ham. What are your thoughts? I think it's going to be a tough game because obviously Newcastle got a lot of injuries. They've got a lot of youngsters on the bench. Um, Willock's not starting. He's on the bench. Anderson's playing. We've got Lewis Hall starting at left back. Um, Dan Burns moving to centre half. Yeah. So it's a game I expect we to win, but I think it's going to be a tough one. What about you, Charlie? Well, I don't know. I think we should have enough to beat Everton. You can hear the fans. Yeah, it's a bit rowdy the today. There, but um, I think it's going to be a really good atmosphere today. We can be very confident, especially after we came back like that against West Ham. So I think it's going to be 3 1 in Newcastle. 3 1. I'm going to go 2 1 Newcastle. I think Isaac's going to score in Bruno. But it's been quite feisty around the ground. Yeah, There's been quite yeah. a few um, Everton fans yeah, shouting off, hasn't there, as we've been going around. But yeah. no Tino Livermento, he's not here. Um, he has hurt his ankle, but we're not sure how long he's going to be out yeah. for. So hopefully it's not too long. Yeah, but anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Let's get to it. Was it Richie? It's Richie, no, it's Richie. now with Charlie Talks Football. Now you better subscribe by the way because he knows what he's talking about. I know he thinks I'm a bit of a dinosaur but I, honestly I do used to play in there but you know your dad's tell you that's what it is. So all the best mate and I look, look forward to subscribing myself.
time Newcastle won Everton won it was a frustrating game we created a lot of chances didn't we but you know this this is um, what we deserve for, for not being able to take them chances don't yeah we agree? needed that second goal we said all along in the game we needed the second goal Everton were there for the take and they were awful in the first half when they changed it and brought some subs on yeah but we didn't have really anyone to come off the bench apart from Willick to change it um, we we'll missed the chances we needed to get the second goal so it just it feels like two points dropped yeah and the penalty as well I mean all that I saw was someone just go down in the box and they didn't actually check it yeah. until after another you know attack was happening which I thought was a bit strange but I do feel a bit sorry for Dummett you know he hasn't played in a while he comes on and I do feel a bit sympathetic to him but again it's kind of Pretty stupid one. Yeah, he shouldn't have pulled him down. I mean, De Bravo was getting the ball, but he did it in the heat of the moment and they got the equaliser. But you know, it just. We, we've just Lewis Hall's gone off injured now, by the looks of things. I just, he was it's just good unbelievable. Yeah, he played well. I thought Dan Byrne had a really good game. Bruno was good. Isaac took his goal good. But it does feel like two points dropped, unfortunately. Yeah, and as well, I think we certainly had chances. Pickford made yeah, um, quite a few good save, saves. Right. Isaac could have. Scored, yeah, had it was chances, cleared off the but line, wasn't at it? times, you know, we played chances. really good football. We were yeah. just, you know, lucky not to get that winning goal. But let us know your comments, what you thought yeah. of the game. Please give this video a like and Thumbs up. Um, subscribe, subscribe if you haven't. Yeah. Thanks for the um, support on the last video as well. I know that's got over 4,000 views. So yeah. I wanted to say thank you for that video. But frustrating result, but we've got to, we've got to move on. Exactly. Take care. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.